I'm only going to say this once. I can't believe this is actually an episode, but it is. I'm Ryan, and this is Dustin. We got married in the summer of 2014, and in the winter, we bought a house. We're pretty handy, and Dustin has a real good eye for design. These are our chronicles of renovations, fixes, and decorating as we go through our new lives as homeowners. So, uh, we're here in the basement. You can see in the background, tools. Um, but we're... Really not. Uh, when you see this video, we're actually going to be wrapping up a very nice, uh, delightful, hopefully... Relaxing. ...week at Aspen. So that's why we've titled this one, um, How's Your Aspen? Because uh, that's where we are. And it actually is going to just flow very nicely. Oh my god, look at all the puns that are coming out of me. Oh my Please god, stop. it just keeps coming out. Oh my stop. god. Um, I apologize to everyone. So we uh, we've used... The moist, flushable wipes, you know, in the bathroom. Moist some people have word, moist. Some moist. people hate that word. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's what they are. But, uh, you know, you hear a lot that they're really not flushable. They're no good for your septic system. So we I We decided to test. Yeah. I couldn't find anywhere that said which ones do, which ones don't. In our picture here is just plain old water. Nothing in it. No chemicals. No nothing. So, um, honey, also clean cups. If you would pour some water into one of the top cups and drink it. This is the ultimate test. You're going to poison me. <laughs> That's good. Okay. I'm thirsty. Mm. Mm. Finish that cup. But why? Because I said so. Nope. Drink it. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I played a drink there it is. In my life. Right. We all, <laughs> it's just plain water um, with nothing in it, and the cups are also... Completely free and clear of anything. So we're going to use three cups. Oops, dog there, apparently. And take that out. It's static. Basically the same amount of water in each one of these. Nope, need more. Okay. So there we go. Um, and then I'm just going to submerge them in there. We're going to watch them over the next couple of days and see which ones actually break apart break apart it is wet by the way I'm not using that one use this one oh it smells mission it's scented so this is the Kroger <laughs> Charmin I'm not going to ruin this package because I don't know these could work oh it is possible that they will already they just pull apart Okay, so here's the Sherman in this cup. Yeah, I, I don't know, could be, might use this. Might use any of these. And the... Okay, Vanna. What do we got? Um, Sherman, Cottonelle, and Kroger brand. All right, so they're all I'm going to push them down, but they're all going to stay below in the surface of the water and see which one breaks down first. We'll come back in 12 hours and see how this goes. Now we wait. Now we wait. So here we are. It's 11 a.m. on uh, Wednesday. Good daylight. And uh, we're going to do a little progress track. I brought three straws. Well, I'm going to use that to pick up the uh, wipes and keep them with the same cups. Pretty much well intact still. And then let's check the Cottonelle. Okay. Uh, Cottonelle seems to be coming apart. Trying to get a... Yeah. So Cottonelle is coming apart, 12 hours in, and Kroger, let's try another spot, get a little weight on it, still holding together. Alright, so we'll come back tonight. Here we are in the basement, uh, 24 hours later, let's check in on the results 
of the tests. Cottonelle. Let's get a piece of this. Oh, the other piece is still in there, so let's see if I can get just a single slice of this. There we go. Yeah, so this is pulling apart pretty nicely. Pulls apart still. No change. Hello! Hello! So here we are. Um, it is Saturday at about 3 p.m., so... Uh, several days since we put our experiments to work Test. and tested the three different cleansing cloths. And we, we took a moment to read the back and little fine print on uh, the three brands that we've tested. And you've got to hear this. So the first one's actually Cottonelle. Um, it has a minor detail that the Kroger or the Charmin wipes leaves out. So the Cottonelle basically says with a safe flush technology, um, it ensures that the Cottonelle flushables will break up after they are flushed. Um, so that's something that's really interesting that you know has pretty much pulled into everything else. But the Kroger one has it says that they are safe to flush for maintain and code approved systems. They can't do RVs. You can't do. Um, old systems or systems with like restaurants that have grease going down the same pipes because then you just end up with a clog and that's disgusting. Noted that does not say they will break up. It just says they are approved for certain systems. Um, Charmin's kind of the same way. Charmin doesn't say anything about breaking up. It actually just says that it's approved for septic systems, um, only flushing one or two at a time. So interesting. Wording choices on the back. Find details, get you every time. Right. Nada. Okay. i put it back in there. Charmin, you fail. Goodbye. I say good day. I say good day. And, and the yep. Kroger. Yep. Struggle bus. Alright, there we go. So again. Nope. Not breaking. Totally together. And so, the Cottonelle. Yay, yeah, Cottonelle. Yep. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's breaking down. And again, this is just water, so I'm going to hypothesize that in... We're good. We want to play. Leave me alone. Stop playing. Um, we hypothesize that uh, yeah. in a septic system with all sorts of icky bodily chemicals... Um, Poop. <laughs> They'll probably break down uh, very well. I mean, it is breaking down in plain water very well, too, so that's good. As a, uh, as a part of our experiment, we only, you notice, tried three brands. Um, that's because I don't want to spend $5 on a, each pack of wipes. So, those are also the three available brands um, readily available. Um, I was not going to go get Costco brand because I don't want to spend $20 on, on an experiment. giant pack that I've um, never used. But check the fine print. And if you want to go out and try it yourself, just put it in a cup of water and see what happens. Um, just plain water and see if it breaks under its own uh, tension. That uh, happened to work for us. So we're going to use the Cottonelle ones because they break down, and uh, that will be fantastic. And we are going to throw out the rest of the Kroger ones that we bought and the Shaman ones, because we don't want them in our septic system. Because I don't want to pay anybody to clean it out. No. No, it's a pretty big septic system, and, uh, yeah, we're only two people, so if that thing clogs, we've got a problem. Yeah. Because it shouldn't. Yeah. No. Mexican All right, everybody, so, um, next week, new episode, we'll be back from vacation, and, uh, yeah, we'll tell you how our ass been trip was. I see what you did. You see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> um, also, don't forget to share, subscribe, like. Uh, the more people that subscribe, if we get 100 people to subscribe, then we can actually change the link to something, you know, easily rememberable and not a random 
YouTube thing? Right. Yeah. We can actually you know, be like YouTube dot, you know, homeowners dot YouTube or YouTube dot com slash homeowners. I've never known that. Yeah, it's a thing. Mm. Good. And then it's easier to remember. But until then, like, subscribe, all the stuff's down at the bottom, and uh, we'll see you next week. Okay, bye.